Well, tonight the state is investigating IRA charter schools across the valley. It costs you and other taxpayers nearly a million dollars. Our Channel 5's Joe Augustine tells us the schools must now give that money back. Charter schools, like all public schools, get money from the state based on how many kids show up for class. Well, the state found IRA charter schools here in the Valley were getting too much money, almost $900,000 too much. We wanted to know why. We spent four months digging through school records, talking with former teachers and former students. That's how we learned that IRA charter schools changed attendance reports. They marked students present who didn't actually show up for class and they got paid a lot of money for it. Every one of these students earned IRA charter schools thousands of dollars. Sabrina Deckard. She's also the recipient of the IRA scholarship. This scholarship student from IRA's Mission Center sat down with Channel 5 News just weeks before her own graduation. I was just trying to make it easier for myself. Sabrina Deckard only needed two classes in her final semester to graduate. She says that wasn't good enough for her principal. When I asked him why, he told me because the school wouldn't be making money off of me, they wouldn't be benefiting off of me. Here's how it works. Ira gets an average of about $9,000 for every full-time student. But part-time students, like Sabrina Deckard, mean half the funding. Sabrina says her principal wanted full funding, so they made a handshake deal. So it's like mainly like if I attend the whole day, but I really don't. We check Sabrina's schedule and her attendance records. Take a look at this. She was marked present for classes not even listed on her final schedule. We double checked with the Texas Education Agency. State records show Ira listed Sabrina as a full-time student for the entire school year. We told you earlier, she wasn't. So he's getting money off of me because supposedly I'm attending those classes. We asked Sabrina's principal to explain. That I've been told to do is not comment on anything, you know, not only if it's authorized, etc. Ira wouldn't let us talk to the principal. The right thing to do is to bring it to the people that can address it. You can't address it. We can ask questions about the charter's troubled past. A TA investigation found Ira charter schools inflated attendance numbers in 2009 and again in 2010. Students who didn't actually sit in a desk were March present. I, I would say that data quality was probably uh, one of the significant issues. Noe Sauceda is an assistant superintendent at IRA. He's part of a new administration that took over during that state investigation. Things are changing. His boss, Superintendent Beto Gonzalez, applauded the school's reputation during this year's graduation. We are the number one charter school. Sauceda says the problems are fixed. We don't have an option. We must comply with state uh, regulation. And so we've given them an assurance that this new administration is doing exactly that. That's, that's a lie. There was no change. Eliazar Sines taught science at Ira for three years. He taught Sabrina Deckard. He says Sabrina was one of several students marked present who didn't actually show up for class. Well, that's just what happened at Ira. We checked his attendance reports. On the official sheet here, she's marked present. What did you have her marked on as? Absent. And found dozens of discrepancies. This is fraud. Signs started asking his own questions. It was just too much. You had them all up. That's a lot of money that the uh, school is getting for false information. Ira fired signs May 24th for refusing to receive letters of concern regarding his performance, inappropriate discipline and interaction with students, and failure to meet Ira's standards for teachers. The firing came just two weeks after Signs' annual teacher evaluation. This teacher report card shows signs either met or exceeded expectations in every area. I think I was fired because uh, for refusing to uh, mark students present when they're actually absent. There are staff that either are no longer with us 
or may not be with us, and, and you know, they're going to want somebody to blame. Assistant Superintendent Noe Sauceda says he never heard the allegations made by Eleazar Sines or Sabrina Deckard. Then out of fairness, we need to know what the complaint is, and there hasn't been a complaint. Regarding what you're saying, nothing. Some instruction. We tried to ask Superintendent Beto Gonzalez about these same allegations. We are the number one charter school. He's the one who anointed Ira the best charter school. Gonzalez resigned for what I recalled personal reasons a month after graduation. One of Beto Gonzalez's last acts as superintendent at Ira was changing the name from Ira to Ignite Public Schools. You can still see the faded letters on the Central Administration Building here in Edinburgh, sort of a symbol that the past still hangs over all these charter schools. State investigators are still at all the campuses, making sure attendance reports are not being changed. The most most recent report says administrators here are cooperating. Reporting in Edinburgh, Joe Augustine, Channel 5 News at 10.